Have you ever wondered how hard it would be to build your first computer? Oh, don't want to. Oh, I don't think that's in. I'm Brandon Naff, and in today's video, we're going to find out. I'm going to make my first computer because I need to edit my YouTube videos on the computer and my last one. Well, it broke. In fact, I'll, let me go show you. Hold on one sec. This <clears throat> was my old motherboard. And I don't know if you can see this. Uh, that is the chipset. The chipset burned out and I scrounged together some parts for cheap. And we're gonna see if this works. Fingers crossed. I think I'm going to bench test everything. Since I only need the power supply and the tower to start with, I'm gonna get rid of everything else. By the way, I'm reusing this power supply from my old PC. It seemed like this case might have got a little bent. Might just be my imagination, but. I think it's gonna be okay, so I'm gonna let it go. So I'm gonna let it go. Ooh. Ooh. Oh, I'm gonna plug in all of these first. All the ones I need, anyway. These being the power cables that I'll need for bench testing. Let's install this. Power case going in with the fan facing down. A lot of people tell me to make sure about that when I'm doing my first build. I have made sure that the fan is, in fact, facing down on that. You're gonna notice a lot of gaming parts in this computer, but this is mainly gonna be a video editing computer. Like I said, I'm gonna use it for editing my YouTube videos. I think that a lot of parts are similar. I should have looked up and, and asked for some advice on some specs, specifically for a video editing PC. By the way, for those of you who care, the parts going in here, I've got an MSI B450 Gaming Plus motherboard. I've got a Ryzen AMD 5 2600 CPU going in. I'm using my old graphics card, but I might update it later. RX 560. Drop the screw. The other parts. Evo Potenza, 16 gig RAM. Now I only went with 16 because I think that that's like really all you need, but there are two open slots. All right, now that we have the power supply in, I'm gonna set it aside while I set up some things on the motherboard. This have here a M.2 memory drive I am going to use for mass storage. My SSD, which has Windows pre-installed from my old computer. I remember I mentioned that. I'm hoping that I can just use this. A lot of people have said you should start with a fresh install of Windows. I'm just going to see what happens. We'll find out together. Here's the motherboard. Actually, I cannot forget about that IO shield, which I will definitely forget about. That's the M.2 screw, which I need. All right. Toss everything out of the way. Ooh. Very, very careful with this part. Don't wanna, oh, I almost dropped it. Which you definitely do not wanna do. I think the next thing is, I think I have to take off this little guy right here. But let me open this first. This you also need to be very careful with. I think the stock cooler already has thermal paste on. Let's read the instructions and see what that says, shall we? I'm gonna have a big mess clean up when I'm done here. Uh, this is in like 30 different languages. There's no step in here that says to apply thermal paste. That's why I'm skipping it. This part is the part that's making me nervous because if I'm gonna f up, it's gonna be at this part. So now it's gonna be in time to do the scariest part and that is install the CPU. Ooh. This is saying there's a cover that there isn't on here. See, this is the thing about directions is they're not always for the specific model that you have. It's saying it's got a little cover there. And it definitely doesn't. Uh, I have to lift this up. And I have to look for the triangle, which is right there. I don't know if you can see that on that one, but I see it. I'm very carefully going to open this up. Locate. Ooh, the triangle. My hands are like shaking. I'm so nervous with this thing right now. Okay. I also don't want to touch it if I can help it. But there's that. There's the triangle. And I'm going to drop it in. I don't think that's in. That is in. Whew. Hope I didn't damage anything while I was doing that. Shit. All right. Now we're going to close this. And there we go. The most nerve-wracking part of the whole thing is finished. Let's try and put this heat sink fan on. And again, 
I don't think I need thermal paste because it doesn't say to do it in the instructions. And I was told by a video that I watched that this already has it on here. So we're just gonna go without it. If that was a really big mistake, then please tell me and I'll come back in and fix it later. I gotta position this in a way so that this in the proper spot. Okay, now let's tighten this down. I don't know how tight to go on this here, but I do feel like I should tighten them down one at a time a little bit and not do like go all the way tight. It's making all kinds of horrible noises. I think that's because of the springs, but still. Okay, now they're all screwed in. Now I'm gonna go Tighten them down a little bit further. There we go. That is definitely all the way tightened down. Woohoo! Time for a break. I think the next step is to install the RAM. Yes, let's do the RAM now. <clears throat> Your motherboard is going to have a slot that it says you should populate first. And if you look in the manual, it will tell you which one that is. For mine, it's DIM A2 and DIM B2. Two. I don't know why it's two before one, but it is in this one. Don't drop it. Yeah, there's like three things I've already almost dropped. All right, this should also line up a certain way, and that way is the other way. These down. Almost forgot to do that. There we go. First one in, second piece of RAM going in. And once again, just about forgot to take those slots down. Don't forget to do that. Okay, RAM is in, check. I think I'm going to do the M.2 now. Yeah, I am, because the video card's gonna go on top of that. Wow, that's a lot of reading material that I don't think I need, as I've already watched a video on how to put this in. It's supposedly going to go in at like some sort of angle and then slide down. Yeah, okay. There, whew, there we go, okay. That is a little nerve wracking, putting that in. You have... The camera ran out of batteries, this being my first YouTube video. First lesson I've learned is charge your batteries and have extra batteries going uh i need to tighten down this m.2 drive here this is gonna be a pain in the butt okay. there we go okay that's in i don't think i'll need that crappy screwdriver again uh the next thing i'm gonna do is plug in the ssd so i'll just go into say to one make life simple now remember i'm gonna need to also plug this into the computer from power. Leave that turned like that. Now I'm gonna put in the video card, which is actually over the... Ah, yeah, there it is. In addition to your motherboard having the two main slots for your RAM, it has a main slot where it wants your graphics card to go. So I happen to know that that's this metal reinforced one I've already checked. Ta -da! I think that's all I need to be able to plug into the tower. All right, plug this in. Ooh, this is going to be... Hmm. Aha. Here we go. So that's plugged in. We can go ahead and plug in the CPU. Oh, no, that's the video cable. think we're just about ready to test this thing. Let's plug this big old guy in. Okay. All right. I think I'm ready to test this thing. Moment of truth. Let's see if it works. No way. I'm actually surprised it turned on with the first try. Let's see if I get any picture. I did it! 
working. I can't believe I did it on the first try. That's insane. I'm glad I did the bench test now. Time to turn it off and um, yeah, put it all together now. My excitement was short lived. This next part is sped up because I had such a hard time getting the screws on the motherboard in. The stand screws were, went in just fine, but putting the screws from the motherboard in itself was just impossible. I never did get the upper two corner screws in. And there's actually a part of the video that I had to cut out where I went back to try it again and it just didn't work. Maybe it was because the case was bent. I don't know, but whatever it was, I had a hell of a time. In fact, I called it quits for the night shortly after that. All right, day two. While I'm talking, let me actually set back up the uh, GoPro here. Now we got pretty far yesterday. I only did a couple of things after the cameras ran out. I just tucked some cables away. And so I'll uh, show you that here. So you can see here, I've got most of the cables plugged in. This is my audio cable, USB 3.0, USB normal. And then here are my cables coming from the case for the power supply and all that. The only cable that was a little small is this CPU cable, but I was able to run it back kind of behind here. And then you can't see too well, but Maybe if I grab the camera and look up, you can see this cable coming out of here and I kind of just wrapped it over the top of the RAM here. And there it is coming back out. It is, oops, it is, oops. Uh, don't do that. There's only a couple things left to do before I can actually start this thing up. I do need to plug in the SSD that I installed. Oh, I'm gonna need to install the video card, which is right here. So let's do that. We'll have to remove of these back protectors here. So we'll just take those two off really quick. There's one cover. Now time for the graphics card. Back in the same way, but now with the correct slots open. We're gonna flip this back this way. I have got to plug in the video card. So I think we're gonna come right up through. All right, now let's get the SATA, the SSD drive plugged in. I believe this should turn on now. Moment of truth, huh? Again, I'll be a little bit surprised if it starts up on this one too. So let's find out, huh? Ha ha! Man, it's cool. It's got some blue LED too. Why is there no video? Well, that would be because I don't have the HDMI cable plugged in. Now I'm not seeing any video at all, which is pretty concerning because I did see video when I started it up the last, hey! <laughs> Look at that, you guys. It's working. I got a Windows desktop. I can't believe it. It actually booted all by itself. Oh, that's amazing. The resolution's a little bit off. The screen size doesn't quite fit right, but oh, that's amazing. Oh, that's amazing. Windows booted up and everything. I'm going to call that a finish. I'm going to say that's a complete build and that we're all done. I can't, I honestly can't believe that it started up like that. <laughs> pretty freaking cool honestly super excited about that I'm, I'm super excited that it worked that's awesome so if i can do it and you saw how much i was struggling you could definitely build a computer too it's really not that hard it, it's kind of like adult legos with a, a higher level of stress there's always going to be some problems that you run into like my my screws on that motherboard there it does worry me a little bit that they're not in there but i was just getting so frustrated trying to do it right now that I was about to pull out what little hair I had left. If you have any questions for me, do leave them in the comments. I'll try and answer them. I have to say, it was a little bit more difficult than I thought. You know, after watching all of these tutorial videos, I was pretty sure that, oh, it would be simple. I'd be able to put this computer together, no problem. Maybe an hour tops. No. At the end of all this, if you like this video, please hit subscribe and encourage me to make more. Like I said, this is my first YouTube video and I hope you liked it. Let's get to editing.